It sure beats the TV commercials you see with the talking fish and the bowlers. I'm David Dillon, and I'm a candidate for the 3rd Congressional District in Minnesota. And I decided to run for this when I started looking at the economy through the eyes of my children about back in January. And the truth is, we're going to leave to our children an economy that's not near what we inherited. Congress is making it harder, not easier. That's why I'm running. Well, the, the voters are getting at least some idea through these debates. You know, it would be frankly much better if we could debate for three hours than one hour. The two-minute snippet here and the two-minute snippet there doesn't quite do it justice, but it sure beats the TV commercials you see with the talking fish and the bowlers. People, people say that it's a hard pill to swallow because of the billions and billions and billions of dollars involved. Show me a family that hasn't had to adjust to live with 4% less or 5% less. The government can, that's all it need do. There, there isn't a business that hasn't had to adjust to living with a few percent less. The government simply can do it. And we didn't get into this, but there's an opportunity to do it in military spending. So there's plenty of opportunity to reduce costs in the federal government. It's a decision. The Dillon shirt and the Dillon button. Yeah, I'll give you the, com I'll give you the complete deconstruction of it. I stole the idea. Um, when I was growing up, um, there was a thing called a Fraser button. And it looked just like this. And it was Don Fraser's congressional button. And it said Fraser button. So we started with a Dillon button, and then it just moved to Dillon shirts and Dillon hats, and that's how. First, I've been amazed at how little coverage there is of this race. The truth of the matter is 95% of the coverage is presidential politics. And of the remaining 5%, 95% of that is about the Senate race. There isn't much coverage. As important as the Congress is, there isn't much coverage of congressional races. What coverage there has been has been, frankly, biased towards Democrats and Republicans. That's a tradition in the media. Um, but uh, I feel like I've been treated fairly. It took some battle to get into it, but now that we're in, they're covering it.